Hi, my name is David Havens, and this is what you need to know about private credit. What private credit is, is it, it's actually kind of what private credit is not. Private credit is not bank loans. Private credit is not bank syndicated loans. Private credit is not publicly traded bonds. Private credit is a bilateral agreement or a club deal, uh, generally with smaller companies, 100 million to $1 billion in total assets, generally highly leveraged uh, and often involved as part of a leveraged transaction. Private credit uh, has grown explosively over the past uh, 20 years or so. Growth really took off in private credit after the uh, financial crisis and the ensuing uh, uh, changes in regulation, Basel III, Basel IV, Basel Finish, Dodd-Frank in the United States, which dissuaded banks from making loans to private companies, smaller companies, more leveraged companies. So private credit grew off of that. It's been doubling every three, four, five years, and it's grown to be $2.3 trillion, including about $500 billion of, uh, of dry powder that hasn't been put to work yet. So we're going to see more growth over the next couple of years. It'll probably double in the next five years would be our guess. The reason that borrowers tend to go to the private credit market is flexibility and because cash is available. So there's supply and demand. There's demand on the part of borrowers. There's supply on the part of private lenders. Private credit also has certain advantages over other forms of, uh, of borrowing. For the companies that we're talking about, these middle market companies, they're too small for some banks to lend to. They're too small for the public markets to lend to. And so private credit is able to step in, provide bilateral financing, provide tailored financing for the company's specific need. And a lot of borrowers prefer going the private credit route than the bank syndicated loan market because you have one or two uh, lenders that you're doing business with. It makes it very flexible. We've seen a move in the private credit market funding where private lenders have increasingly been going to retail investors to solicit funds while continuing to go to institutional markets for funds as well, banking markets for funding. And I think that what's behind this, this trend is that there's an $80 trillion pool, estimated to be $80 trillion pool of global private wealth funds that can be put to work. And when you analyze what's in that $80 trillion pool of assets, there's not a lot of alternative investments. There's not a lot of private credit. It's substantially uh, underweighted in that $80 trillion pool. The returns of private credit have been good. And so I think that what you're seeing is the private lenders attempting to democratize private credit for uh, private wealth individuals. And we need to make a distinction between private wealth individuals and retail investors. It's a vast market which is looking for alternatives and fixed income, looking for yield and private credit is able to deliver that. And that's probably going to be a significant area of future funding for private wealth. Private lending is an area which is, is gonna, has undergone explosive growth and will likely continue to undergo significant growth. But there are increasing calls for regulation, increasing calls for transparency. Uh, so there are some concerns about the, uh, the trajectory of the growth and the impact that could have on the financial statement. The future of private credit, I think, is, is quite bright. Uh, certainly, the banks have cottoned on to the game, and I think that they're gonna be competing a little bit more uh, with the private lenders uh, for a slice of that business. But there are regulatory hurdles uh, that prevent them from going all in the way that they would have in the past. It's a market which I think we're going to see increasingly shared and blurred between banks and private lenders. I think we'll see club deals between the two. I think we'll see them collaborate. I think we'll see them be frenemies as the market continues to unfold. I think we'll probably see that market double in size in the next five years. My name is David Havens, and this is what you need to know about private credit.